What's going on, everybody? Good early evening. We've got a little bit of Seahawks news, and I wanted to go ahead and throw together a quick video covering it because this might actually matter a little bit. Uh, obviously, a football team will make many roster moves and signings and cuts and et cetera, et cetera, things that don't really matter that much. But this, even though it's not a huge pickup, might actually matter. So... Uh, the Seahawks needed a defensive tackle this week. They needed a defensive tackle in the worst way. Brian Monet went on injured reserve. He's done for the rest of the year, I'm sure. And Al Woods, still not practicing. We still don't know what's going on there. Uh, <clears throat> as of right now, it behooves us to assume he's not going to be there and make plans accordingly, even though I think there's a good chance he does play as of right now, you have to assume that he won't. So we need somebody in the middle here. We need a big dude in the middle here. And um, this would have been a prime opportunity for Monet to step forward. But uh, obviously that's uh, not on the table. He played five snaps against the Niners and then got hurt. And now his season's done. So we've uh, sought replacements elsewhere. And we kicked the tires on a group of defensive tackles and have settled on Davian Nixon. They have waived running back Tony Jones to do so. Now, a lot of people have already said this. Uh, the first note here would be the fact that they waived Tony Jones. Waving Tony Jones probably means that Ken Walker Jr., or, excuse me, I don't know why I said Jr., the third, Ken Walker the third is probably okay for this game against the Chiefs. But, this video is more about Davion Nixon. I'm just going to talk about him real quickly here. Former fifth-round pick of the Carolina Panthers from 2021. I actually remember him a little bit from that draft. He spent the last uh, two years in Carolina, has not played that much, has played in seven games in each of his first two years, has 15 tackles and half a sack, played a t combined 144 defensive snaps, so he hasn't played a lot. Uh, not much to report here overall. Um... The notable stuff that Davion Nixon has done comes from his time in college with the Iowa Hawkeyes, where he had a uh, junior year where he had 45 tackles, 13 and a half for loss, five and a half sacks, and an interception. He, I believe, was a uh, first-team Big Ten that one year. Uh, he was one of the more prolific defensive linemen in the Big Ten that year, so that's good. But um, even though his profile and his production befit someone who could maybe go at least on day two of the draft. He didn't go until the fifth round. And in the NFL so far, he hasn't really proven much of anything to say that he should have been a day two pick. PFF thinks he's okay. You know, they gave him a grade of 60.6 so far this year. And 2021 is rookie year. They gave him a slightly better grade, 66.1. But the sample size is so small it's hard to ascribe too much to it. But uh, Davion Nixon seems like more of a three-tech sort of defensive lineman than he is like a, a big space eater. He's uh, 305 pounds right now, I believe, um, right around there. So you're talking about a smaller defensive tackle. And if you go back and look at his scouting reports and look at his uh, profile coming into the draft, it was more about his athleticism. He's quick. He's fast. He can shoot gaps really well. He's somebody who can make plays. The concerns about Davion Nixon were his size was not... He wasn't a big player, and he wasn't super strong. So when you look at Davion Nixon, I don't think you see a replacement for a guy like Monet or Al Woods, your big guys. I look at Davion Nixon, and I see more like a, like a Puna Ford type... Or maybe, maybe even not even that. Maybe it's more like a Shelby Harris, Quentin Jefferson type. Honestly, when I look at Davion Nixon and I see a 305-pound uh, defensive tackle, I say, not really a great fit for what we are trying to do on our defense right now. Not a great fit for what we need. Is he a bad player? I don't necessarily think that's the case. And at the end of the day, we needed somebody. Davion Nixon's just the somebody. Nobody you get at this point in the season is going to be anything good. Right? If they're good, they'd be on another team. But um, I will say that even with the addition of Davion Nixon, I'm wondering where the run stopping is going to come from, where the space eater in the middle is going to come from. If Al Woods can't play, 
Your only real nose tackle is Puna Ford. That's the closest thing you have. And even after this signing, I think that's still probably the case. So still a little bit touch and go here. I'm hoping Al Woods can play. Obviously, you're playing the Chiefs. And against a team like the Chiefs, maybe you'd rather have a more athletic and playmaking defensive lineman. But, man, we are going light on the defensive line right now. That's what I can say about that. But that's my rundown of Davion Nixon. Had moments in the NFL. Definitely had a nice uh, year, his final year in college, his junior year. But it hasn't really translated to the NFL yet. He is still young, but <clears throat> I, I'm inclined to believe this is just a short-term thing. And I don't know, I would have liked somebody with a little more beef, somebody with a little more weight to him. But uh, we'll see if he gets on the field this weekend against the Chiefs. All right, see you guys later. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on there because this guy might actually play. So uh, yeah, go Hawks.